keep going here. And if he comes down the pitch and try and hit him back over his head, get to the full pitch. Yeah. Short one. Out! Yes, well caught. McGrath takes the catch. McGill balls superb first over. That's a big wicket. And Glenn McGrath will be pleased about that. He's uh, got the opportunity to get into the game after taking a hammering. Abdul Razak uh, will be a bit annoyed with himself there. He had the opportunity to bang that one away. It was short, but uh, it probably bounced just a bit. Caught slightly near the top edge. He certainly wasn't trying to hit it down to ground. Good catch from Glenn McGrath. And the dangerous uh, Razak is gone for 40. Ah! Big spin there and an edge. So the Pakistanis are crease bound against um, the leg spin bowling of Stuart McGill and they're paying the penalty for it. That's one of the subcontinent. Are used to playing leg spin bowling, used to going down the pitch, but uh, you're right, uh, Ian, they have been playing from the crease. Haven't tried to put any pressure on Stuart McGill. McGill, of course, is getting the ball to turn a lot, and that may be the reason why they are uh, crease bound. Catch, catch. catch, and yes, Shane Lee at mid off. So uh, Azam Mahmood trying to do something about this leg spin bowling of Stuart McGill, only succeeds in holding out to mid off. Once again, no use of the feet at all. If he had the intention of lofting the ball, he really should have gone down the pitch instead of playing it from the crease. He couldn't get enough bat on it. In fact, uh, hit it straight to the fielder at mid-off. He's trying to hit it over the fielder at mid-off. Just hit down his throat. That's another wicket gone. Six for 124. Ah! Oh, that's going to be close. He's given in. Yes, fairly shot. May have spun, but he was trying to rip it away. Four for McGill. This is a beautiful spell of bowling. Yes, four wickets for Stuart McGill. Fantastic comeback match for him. Really has spun the ball a long way and quite sharply. Steve will move the extra man to the slip region. Sakhle Mushtaq, premeditated sweep shot. May have been a little unfortunate because that ball may have just turned a miss off stump, but probably given out on the shot. Boy Steve Davis says that'll do me. Stuart McGill picks up his fourth wicket. Sakhle Mushtaq at LBW. Again, now the man of the match, Stuart McGill, has uh, taken the money and uh, also the man of the match award. There we are, congratulations. You better have the money as well. You might have to go and buy a drink this evening. Um, tell us about, I mean, it's hard, isn't it, really, to come back into um, to a side after being out of it for a while. What, you know, what, do you, what do you sort of gear yourself to do? I guess the really good thing about Australian cricket at the moment is uh, that everybody who's not in the team but still in the squad feels a part of things. We always, you know, catch up with the guys when they're in town and, and John Buchanan really has tried very hard this week particularly to make me feel welcome, so mm. just sort of slip straight in there. Right, I heard someone in the commentary box today say that they'd either read a quote or heard you say that uh, what you've got to do is actually be ready and bowling well when you get the chance. Yeah, well, that, that's right. I mean, there's, there's no point me sort of worrying about not being in the team. What I've got to make sure is that when the opportunity does arise, that I'm able to, you know, take it with both hands and, and do a job for the team as well. I don't want to just come in and, and see that as the achievement. For me, helping the team to win would be the achievement. And a few of you are doing that. Andrew Simons as well, taking his opportunity well. Played well today too. Exactly. I, I mean, he was smashing them. It was great to watch. Right, well, very well played today. Congratulations, and um, hopefully we see some more of it. Hope so. Well done. There we are. Stuart McGill, man of the match today, and didn't he bowl well?